Hello everyone, it's Ryan here, um, I haven't uploaded a video in a while, like a long while, longest I've ever gotten without uploading a video ever since I started this channel in fact, so I apologize for those who looked out for a video, um, I kinda stopped the Spore series, I had too much space with all the Spore episodes in the, in my, uh, computer and they were honestly not very exciting anyway it, now I'm going to thank Hearthstone I've played this for a while on my account already if we look at our, my options for example I've already unlocked another card back which you get from playing a friend of several times so that's the one I use um, so the shop and for anyone that's new, the shop you buy cards, packs of cards that cost a hundred coins, and I have thirty right now. Um, quests is how you get money. These are the levels of all my different heroes. Um, this is my current quest: play twenty minions that cost five or more. And I've already played ten, so. I guess that might be what I'm trying to do this episode, but I'll show you guys how the game kind of works. So, this is of course the main menu, but now it's loading. Okay, here. So when we're playing, we can do casual, ranked. I prefer casual because I get, I lose a bunch during ranked for no reason. A bunch, a lot. I don't know. Um, my favorite class, Paladin. I'm a level 21, that's how much I play it. Um, my two other custom decks is Warrior, Hunter, although Hunter's not really that good. Warrior's the only other good one. And even that's not that good compared to Paladin. Um, here are my basic decks. The basic decks are like decks built for you, and then you unlock more cards for these decks. Or there's um something called soulbound cards which you cannot uh get rid of. You can't sell them for stuff. Um and they are here the basic cards is all the soulbound cards for that here for that hero. Um and I have all of them for a paladin, so that's why that's like that. And basically, if you, uh, yeah, and, um, you can also create custom decks with whatever cards you want. Still shows basic cards, although these don't have to have basic cards. The ones you get from packs are not soul bound. They're normal cards that you can sell and buy and stuff. Low buying cards isn't that good. Er, sorry, crafting cards is what you technically do. So, yeah. Um, so now I'm going to play a game with Paladin with some random person online. And, um, I am going to try to finish the quest and get some money. I won't have enough money to open a pack of cards, so you guys won't be able to see that. Or at least for this episode, which is disappointing. But, yeah. Also, primarily, um, I might as well talk about that. Primarily, the reason I haven't been playing a lot of this lately is because, um, if you know what Warhammer 40,000 is, it's a, uh, it's Uther a miniature game. With another paladin. Paladin's I not one of the most common. Justice um, demands retribution. Yeah, Warhammer 40,000 is. These are all high cost cards, so I don't want them for my starting hand. Um. So, yeah. Can you stop that? Sorry. Um. Sorry, my dog. Um. So. Job's done. All these noises. Well um, met. So I'm starting apparently, and I don't have any one. See, this is my mana. I only have one, so I can't play it. So I'm not sure. Um. And yeah, it's it's like a uh, strategy 
thing where you have different squads and, and you have them move around and shoot at each other and stuff, but it's a, it's, it's not a video game, it's a, uh, game you play in real life on, on a table. It's miniature, with miniatures, so, it's pretty cool. Anyway, now it is my turn, and I'm not gonna heal myself for six if I've only taken one damage, so. That's that's my uh, class ability. You can do it once per turn. Uh, summons a guy for me. Other classes have different abilities, of course. And cards, these cards: consecration, muster for battle, holy light, and consecration again are all. And I believe lights justice as well are all paladin cards. So you can only use them in a deck if that is a paladin deck. This is a new. Uh, this card and that card, however, a neutral, you can use it in any deck. Anyway, so now I have three mana. Um, and I'm going to play this. It's a really good card. The blue thing in the center means it's a rare card. Um, soulbound like cards like this one think. don't have any gems on it. So, summon three of these one, uh, silver hand recruit guys. Justice and then also put one full weapon. Which is the same weapon as he has. For so this 1 4 weapon is uh, one deal 1 damage with my guy, attacking with my guys if he's a minion. Um, well and every time you attack, it gets rid of 1 durability, which is 4. And when it reaches 0, it gets destroyed. So, for I'm justice. going to destroy his 4. So my guy. See, my guy took 1 damage because 4 had 1 attack, but I also took 1 damage to his 4. So, yeah. So yeah, this, this guy, what he does is, battle cry means when it, something goes into battle. Um, it does that, so that's dealing one damage. Okay, so now I have four mana. Consecration's kind of, well I could do that and kill his enemy, and then deal damage to him, because... Enemies, um, includes the hero, and characters means... Hmm. But heroes and minions, yeah. So I could do that. I could restore health and summon one of these. Or so. this guy is better than the silver hand recruit in every way, so I'd probably summon him anyway. So basically, I uh, not not enough health for holy light to do that much. So I don't hmm. want to spend only one out of four. Or I could I could do that and then summon two of them. I'm not really sure. I'm no. I'm gonna do this. Get rid. Of See, uh, my deck is Paladin, which is a lot of Paladin cards help you um, move quickly. buff certain guys, and the battle. I'll spend too much time, so now there's For justice. There. Um, Job done. So, he focuses on having a lot of monsters, or they're called minions, um, on the field at a time. And as well as buffing those minions. So, like, one of my best cards that is really good with this deck is Stormwind Champion, where all my other minions get plus one, plus one. Um, and I also have other cards to do that. Divine Shield is an interesting one. Uh, the first time a unit takes damage, you ignore it and get rid of the Divine Shield. Then, like, there's some things that give people give creatures or minions divine shield so yeah mm. so one one divine shield one one charge this one would be a good one I guess and then I have one more mana and I think I'll probably do the Argent Squire uh, white is uncommon by the way or common, no. And then blue is rare. And there's some other colors, but I don't have any other ones. And this one's gold. It's not supposed to be gold. It's just a special card. Um, it's more rare to get, and it doesn't do anything special except for it looks. Like move quickly for justice. Oh, I gotta attack him now. I'll attack him directly. So this is very similar to a lot of card games like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic: The Gathering, but there are bunch of differences. Um, 
like Magic the Gathering, when you summon something, they can't attack that turn, unless they have the charge ability. And that one is... Oh, this is a good one. Uh, Blessed Champion is a rare double minions attack. It's not very good early on with this deck since most of my guys are one ones or like two twos or something. But if you can use some of my other buffs to increase their attack and then double it, it can become very powerful. Mm. Anyway, now's a good time to use this. Although I also want to use this as charge divine shield for two. Oh no, that's actually not a good idea. I want to do two damage to that, one damage to that. So consecration will be good right now, but it's not. Um. Let me think. I uh, this is only really good if you have a lot of attacks somewhere. So one good play, stun plus four. I'm going to heal myself, and I'm going to summon another recruit. Reporting for duty. Um. I must move quickly. I'm going to kill the Nomadhunter and this guy. And now my weapon is destroyed because the durability ran out. So yeah. Um, I've explained most of the basics, I think. Um, obviously, when the uh, hero's health runs to zero, goes to zero or negative something, it will king. die. That's two, two five charge. Not a lot of attack, but it takes a bit to take out. And he has holy light too. Is that one golden? No, that one's a normal one. See, I I have two golden holy lights, so two is the max you can have of a card in this game. This one's also a good one in my deck. Uh, Jason Minions have plus one attack. Uh, I'm at the seven, so this might be better. Let me think. Actually, no, this is good because this guy's a lot of health, so. This guy. The good thing, though, is this guy's charged, so I can attack on him. And then I want to attack this guy, but my guy would die because he would take two damage. But th that's what Divine Shield does. I take zero damage and it disappears. And then now I can finish him off with this guy. And now I have a 4 2 to attack him next turn. Assuming he doesn't kill it. Which is very likely because it has low health. And it doesn't have a Divine Shield anymore. So, you can also see their mana. They have 7 out of 7. Now six out of seven because they played a lights just. I don't actually have that card in my deck. I just don't like it. As much. One for one four. I mean, a weapon for one mana. Is really it. Bit. Yeah, that's that's another card I like. It's in my deck, but I just don't have it. Other oh, minions have plus one attack. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, give minion plus four plus four for four. So it's really good. Uh, if only I had a 9 minion, I would do this, and then that, and this guy would have 8, and I would double it to 16. That's unbelievably good. However, instead, I'll just have to use Blessing of Kings, and then something for 4, so probably Direwolf Alpha, and then Reinforce. So, let me do this. And then play another one, which will go on that side of the wolf and A2. Well so, 9, 6. I don't think I'm, I think I'm just gonna have to attack him directly. He actually has one. Now he does not. He has 17. So, um, this guy also has a decent amount of health now because of the Blessing of Kings. Gives them health as well. So, he should be pretty tough for them the to destroy. And now they have to taunt. Taunt basically means that you can't attack their hero or any of their other creatures without attacking the creature with taunt. However, having two creatures with taunt do not protect each other. You have to destroy all their creatures with taunt before you can destroy creatures without taunt. That is another good one plus three attack. This guy's at night. He played uh, Hand of Protection. Also, a good one. 
Um, this one's really nice. Restore six health when you play him, and he's also a five six. I think I might. No, this guy's gonna die if I do that. I want someone else to attack this Let guy. Me think. So, um, this guy could kill him. Although I need to do some sort of damage to him first. I'm thinking Guardians of Kings will blow me up. And then I can also summon another minion. Reporting for duty. And then my Shot a catapult at him. It's just seems so it doesn't do anything. anything. It's just fun to play around. With. And he killed my guy. No, the 10-6 Lord of the Arena is really good. Uh, I can click on this too. Okay, I gotta let my dog out. Okay. So, um, well, I can use this to give this guy 10. Mm, that's not a good idea. Um, I can give him three with that. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Stormwind, now this guy is six, so you can kill him. Um, I have three mana left, so I can get reinforced, Reporting for duty. and then I don't want to give this guy three attack, because he's going to die. Actually, let me just do that now. <laughs> and he has Stormwind too. We're in the same situation, so I'm now going to give... Quickly. Stormwind some attacks so that people won't be, uh, so he won't be threatened to attack. Them. And also so that any cards I can, I get next turn, I can actually use. And so I'm planning, I do 11 damage. Oh wait, no, that's, that's. They'll I never know what that. Three damage. I've got a huge and card. two damage. Okay. That was, I should have played that game. No. That was a big mistake. Now I'm going to click on my I, guy. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't, oh, I can't do, that. do that. I can't okay. do that. I can't do that. Okay, never mind. Um, well, must have a battle while it's good. For duty. Play this, and I'm not going to double for attack. Duty. Okay, um, I'm just gonna have to... Uh... For justice! Attack this. Oh. This is the only thing I can do. If I had a two damage thing though, I could kill that guy pretty easily. And then four, four, that's pretty... This is a four, four, with no special abilities. So now it's his turn, he's taking quite a bit. He's not looking at anything. You can tell what they're looking at because it's like a red circle around I something. Wonder. By the way, that's not the person doing it. That's automatic. Um. So, um. So he might be uh, disconnected or had to leave but didn't. Um. But didn't have enough time to like concede or something. Um, Let me think. So I don't know. So, oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, he disconnected. Um, so it wasn't the like, best ending. But I still won it. Every three wins, you get ten gold. So I got some gold for that. Yay. Um, 
So I played three minions that cost five or more that turn, so there are that game, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, with seven more, I'll get another 40 gold, which will put me up to 80, and by then I'll probably have won three more games, which will put me up to 90. But yeah, I'm pretty much gonna have to wait until tomorrow's quest. Uh, cause it's, I'm not gonna be able to finish that today. Uh, yeah. Well, th that's, uh, my first episode of Hearthstone. I hope you guys like that. Um, I will be doing more videos in the future, hopefully. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.